All right, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and today I am going to be going over a pretty big omnibus and also oversized hardcover and manga haul here. Majority of it is going to be omnibus because Indigo.ca, so Indigo in Canada, was having a really big sale where it's buy two, get one free. Uh, you could also add in, uh, they had like a code for any order that was over $50, so pretty much all my orders were over $50, so I got another 10% off for that. I'm also part of the rewards program. Uh, which means that I get another 10% for that and then it goes towards uh, also giving me points that I can use as a gift card for that site Indigo and then I also had Rituken I, I believe which used to be Ebates on as well so and which I will eventually lead to a gift card from Amazon I think I have two $25 gift cards because I I, I bought a bunch that, that, that were already out and I also put in like I think 18 pre-orders <laughs> for omnibus, omnibus that are coming out from September until uh, April of next year and I might put in another one. We're, we're not sure yet because uh, the, the deal is still going. So let's dive into this. This might be the only one that was a pre-order that was uh, an omnibus coming out at the end of um, August. And I, I just think it might be this one because it's a smaller package and it is a smaller omnibus. Uh, that was coming out, and, and this was the last package that came in. So I think I have everything that I had ordered that was supposed to be coming out now. Yeah, this is... I have no idea where I'm going to put all these boxes. So, uh, Grant Morrison's uh, Volume 3 of Batman. Uh, I have the first two as well. I have not read any of them yet, uh, because I'm trying to do a proper reading order of Batman. Uh, but can't wait to dive into this. I will be doing an overview of this um, probably tomorrow or the next day. So th this is coming up. And I am, what I'm going to try to do is an overview of kind of all of the omnibus that I end up getting. This is a bit of a bigger box, so there might be a few more in here. I don't know why they didn't all just wait. Like, I, I ordered these all last week, um, and they kind of came sporadically. I guess w when they were available, they sent them out. But I would I would have been fine with waiting to, to get them all at the same time. Although, I guess it kind of worked better for the mail to kind of just give me some stuff. Okay, this is... Pretty much what I was looking forward to the most. Oh, is that only one? I think that's only one. Okay, big box for just one. That's fine. Better, nice packaging. Good job, Indigo. This is uh, Jeff Johns Green Lantern Volume Three. Uh, I've been reading, and I'm almost done. I probably have just like a few issues left of uh, Volume One of Jeff Johns Run on Green Lantern, and it's absolutely fantastic. That is so far the I mean, I've only read a few omnibus, but that is that is some top notch. Uh, that is an amazing run. Like I, I did not expect to like it that much. I think I was thinking that I would like it, but man, I am absolutely glued to it. So uh, here we have volume three, and I love the spines too. Green is one of my favorite colors, and I just like all the all the spines together. They look just amazing. Uh, I I'm, <laughs> I'm loving. Loving this. Uh, we, we really need a Green Lantern Corps omnibus. I think that that's what's missing. Uh, if, if ever, like, I, I think I might eventually do, like, a top 10 um, a DC omnibus that I would like. Although I'm just starting to get into DC again. Um, but I, I think that that's what I would like is a top, uh, is, is a Green Lantern Corps um, during that time. Because I read a few issues and I really liked it. And that was also my first introduction to Green Lantern as well. I always like seeing this, you know, they're doing a good job. Okay, this I'm also very much looking forward to. Uh, as I was talking about, I am going to be doing a uh, Batman readathon, and this is definitely part of it. This is the uh, uh, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale uh, Batman Omnibus, which includes uh, The Long Halloween. What's the other ones? Uh... Long Halloween, yes, uh, what else does it include? Collects the Batman Legends of the Dark Knight Halloween Special, Batman Madness of Legends of the Dark Knight Halloween Special, Batman Goes to Legends of the Dark Knight Halloween, that's all the same. Dark, okay, Dark Victory. Catwoman, When in Rome. All right. I don't know. I, th I think that there's two main stories. Here. Th three, sorry, three main stories. Long Halloween, uh, the, the the what did I say? Dark Victory, and something else here. 
Uh, the, and I think these were all done in the 80s, I believe, uh, after Crisis on Infinite Earths, uh, I believe. Or this might be early 90s as well. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's, it'll be my first time reading uh, any of these stories, though. Uh, now that we have that, let's start planting some of the omnibus here. So three omnibus so far. I think I might be missing a few things still, potentially. Um, okay. Yep. Cool. This is the only manga that I got, which is the Attack on Titan uh, Colossal Edition Volume 4. Uh, I'm currently reading Volume 3, really enjoying it. Uh, so I picked, I, I picked this up and I also had a pre-order uh, for Volume 5, which I believe comes out in October. And I, I, paid, I'm, I'm, I think I'm paying, the retail price here in Canada is um, <clears throat> $63.99. And I think I ended up paying like $30 for this one and I'll end up paying $30 for volume five as well. And this to me is the way to read them. Like, um, this is absolutely beautiful for manga. Like it's, it's premium, um, uh, pages. Uh, it's, it's oversized format. It's, it's, it's glorious. The only thing that I would like a little bit more is maybe having, um, a hardcover edition, uh, because this is just, you know, it, it's not a hardcover, it's a soft cover. Um, and, uh, also maybe, um, having, uh, instead of glued binding, uh, that we could, we could have some sewn binding that would, oh, that would just be amazing. I mean, it's not bad. And I don't think you really get too many splash, like it's, it's, they do a pretty good job, but I think that then you're going to, the spine is going to, uh, probably get some creases in it. And, that, and that's okay. That's uh, like, I just want to be able to read these stories really, uh, in this format. Um, it's not like a major collectible because it isn't a, a hardcover, but, uh, still very much enjoying it and looking forward to volume four. And I will do an overview for volume five when that does come out. And hopefully I've read, vo finished volume three and finished volume four as well by that time that it comes out in October. And I should be able to do that. All right. Let's see here. Two, two more boxes. Um, it's weird. They all kind of came in different sizes, right? And for the most part, a lot of the omnibus or things that I've been getting are kind of similar in size. My goodness. Okay. I'm very excited for this. This I have read before. Well, the paperback version of this. So more Batman. This is... Uh, Batman Nightfall Omnibus Volume 1. So I've read the uh, big, really massive trade paperback uh, that they have of this, but I don't think that everything... I think that that one's only like maybe 500 pages or 600 pages. And I feel that this one is like over a thousand pages. So I think that you're definitely getting a lot more uh, with this one. I could be wrong though, I, I but I, I feel that it's about 500. And I don't think... Uh, no, it's not over there. So I can't, I can't really compare it. I, I, I don't know where it is. Uh, but yeah. I've read the first volume of this in the big, thick trade paperback and uh, really liked it. Um, and I can't wait to dive into this, read some more of it. And that, that had, it's probably been 10 years since I read that. So it, it, a, a lot of it will kind of be rereading it again uh, and, and kind of uh, reliving that story again um, and, and, and enjoying it kind of like for the first time again, to a degree. I, I mean, I, I well, no, I, re I do remember a lot, but there's definitely going to be certain things that... I'm going to be like, oh yeah, that happened kind of thing. And then eventually getting volume two and three, which I've never read. But I have an idea. I have some issues, actually, I think of volume two uh, when I was when I was collecting comics when I was a kid uh, back in the 90s. When it was when it was going on, I, I had a few of them. And uh, I just remember them because the Batman was um, incapacitated at the time. And I was like, what the heck is going on? <gasps> there's still one more that I'm missing then. Yep, there's still something else. I think that that's, I, actually, I do remember, I think that that's only coming out in September uh, in terms of stock. Uh, it, it's an older omnibus, but that's going to be coming. Uh, so this is Green Lantern Volume 2 by Jeff Johns. So now I have uh, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. And the other one that I had picked up is Blackest Night. Uh, and I think that I did also order uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths, the... Uh, deluxe edition of that 
Um, so I will have that too. And I think that that's pretty much it for things that are coming out right away. Uh, but I might be making it one last order. And if I do, I probably will be getting the second volume of Nightfall. Uh, so qu quite a bit here. Uh, that is one, two, three, four, five omnibus and one big manga, uh, along with another um, omnibus that's on the way and a deluxe edition of Crisis on Infinite Earths. So I've got a lot of reading to do. Uh, but what's so nice is that I, I paid like dirt cheap for the majority of this stuff. Like it's, it's crazy uh, how when it's buy two, get one free, you stack it up with some two 10% uh, codes and then you're also getting points along with Ratukin uh, for one of them for the actual site of Indigo and the other one for Amazon. It's 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 awesome. Uh, I really really like this. So thank you all for watching. Uh, you have been bearded in. Beardage.